we're looking at right here is a moment that I've wanted to have happen for over six years. Welcome back to the beautiful tundras of Medved Taiga. We're out here in search for some giant brown bear, and today we're gonna try and find our first ever diamond. Now, we were out here yesterday, and we actually took down a couple of really nice bull reindeer, but we got another one out here 400 yards out. We're gonna go for a shot and see if we can't take him down real quick. Let's grab the AR-308. And put it right there. That should, in fact, be a nice shot. Oh, hold up. We were just about to go pick up that bull, and we found an even bigger one out here. In fact, there are actually maybe two. That is a giant bull. No way. So... We're spotting this bull here, which is a four. And I can't spot this other bull. It keeps saying it's a female, but I know for sure. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, that's what I thought was going to happen. I mean, yeah, I know we're out here in search for some big brown bear, but that's a giant reindeer. What a massive bull. He's out there at 320 yards. And honestly, had we not taken a shot on this bull, we never would have came over here to find potentially this huge diamond bull reindeer. And it's so funny because we were spotting this four for the longest time. And I saw this rack here. Oh, 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 oh. He's giant. He's really symmetrical. Has incredible tops. What a heck of a bull. Wow. He's out there at about 260 yards quartering directly away from us and I don't think we have the collar on us if we did have the Rattler that'd be pretty amazing but we don't so we're not going to be able to get him to come in and there's no way we're going to get too close to him with all these reindeer in the same herd but we're not going to need to because that's going to be our shot right there 250 yards we're gonna have a little bit of drop. So we're gonna get just a hair closer, 240. And that will work. Got him. Whew, he's going down. What are the odds of that? Honestly. All right, so let's pick up this bull here. It may be gold potential. No, it's not. But we need 430 and up to be diamond. All right, guys, we took the shot right here, and that is, in fact, a nice vital hit. Boy, that doesn't get much prettier than that, does it? Look at that. Wow, look at the bubbles. Look at the effect against the snow like that. Oh, that's so cool. Nice vital hit. He ran this way. He was going right through here. No more. Oh, right there. Some good blood. There's some really good blood. All right. So we know he went this way. Oh, my God. There he is. There he is right there. Look at that. <laughs> oh, look at that bull. He's piled up right here. Let's take a look at him. Wow. Wow. What an incredible way to start out this hunt. Just a massive random diamondential bull reindeer. Oh, it's going to be a gold. So close. 414. He was just shy of being a diamond. And we did in fact pull off a liver shot, which is exactly what I thought we were going to do. But he's still a giant bull. Nonetheless, look at that rack. Wow. Fantastic looking bull. We just got eyes on a few brown bear out here, but there's actually three of them. I'd like to take down all three of them. And in order to do that, we're going to have to take down one with a bow so we don't create too much hunting pressure. So we're actually going to go for a shot on this one here, quartering away at about 200 yards. I'm kind of looking forward to going for this shot. 
So the bottom bar would be 120. But we're also pretty high up. I'm thinking if we hold right on the center of that level. All right, so we dropped a good, oh, you know, five feet low. This time, we're gonna hold it right on the bottom of the bubble. That's gotta be money. It is! It's a hit. So now, we can go for a shot on these two. All right, I do believe we got all three bear going down. All right, guys, we got a big old brown bear coming right past us here. About 50 yards out from us. Decent male right there. He's getting pretty close. All right, we're going to hold for 40. Draw back. And let one fly. Perfect shot. He's going down. Right there. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. So we're out here and we're actually in search for this big brown bear that I saw over here. Which should be right out there. There's a nice six. But there's also a huge seven out here somewhere. Right out there. And that is going to be the bear that we're going to try and call all the way across this lake and take him down with the bow. There's actually a ton of bear out here. Uh, it's pretty odd. Usually there's maybe like one or two. But in this case here, we got seven bear out here. So here's the one that we took down. And our shot was a 46 yard lung, liver, intestine shot. 23.19. Almost a goal, but for a five medium, that's a decent, decent bear. Real decent bear. Oh my god. I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. We got a nine legendary brown bear out there for the first time ever. I. Oh my god. We were just looking at the seven right over there. And I was literally just telling you guys that we're going to go after him next. And we want to try and call him out here to take him down with the bow. We just found a nine legendary, huge time potential brown bear. We got bear all around us. This guy is definitely going to blow our cover or so he thinks. We may potentially have to take down this bear first in order to get these bear to be calm and potentially be able to call him into range. So we got to focus on this bear here. We really got to... Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't realize we were running. Holy, this is a lot to take in right now. It really is. The fact that we have our bow locked and loaded and a freaking giant dime potential nine legendary brown bear is a lot to take in it it just really is all right so there's this bear you can see how the wind is shifting and we will have a good wind we will definitely have a really good wind on this bear but we gotta make sure we hit a perfect shot on this one it's got to be absolutely perfect all right so here's this bear Roughly 140 yards out from us. And our nine legendary is right over there. 180 yards out from us. Now there's actually a chance that this bear might not spook. So if that's the case and the wind keeps shifting, then we can just square up and go right towards this nine legendary. Not only that, there happens to be a little hill right there where we could lay prone, get all the way up to the top and be able to see this bear from that position. If we could do that, oh, we're gonna be set. 
Yep, I figured that was gonna happen. So. Whoa, whatever just happened. Honestly, couldn't have been a much better turnout than what just happened. The level seven brown bear just spooked, but in the complete opposite direction as this guy, our giant nine legendary time potential brown bear. And the first one we've ever seen. He's less than 120 yards out. Right there. We're gonna keep an eye on this bear very closely. Now we know there's a female right here as well, but I'm pretty sure she's in that grass. Yep, she's right there. So she's about 120 yards out as well. But now we're starting to have a perfect wind. We got into 80 yards and he's already noticing us. No way. No way. We can't take that shot, that's too risky. Come on, go the other way. Keep walking, keep walking. We don't have any cover. There's nothing we can do right now. We can try and slide over to the right more and get a better wind. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Oh my God, no, don't do that. Please stop, please stop. Okay, so he's calm, but he's also traveling. These things are smart. They don't get big for no reason. They're really smart. Really, really smart. Boy, I wish we had a tree stand here. There was one point when I did have a tree stand here and now we don't anymore. So yeah. All right, well, we know the female's right there, but I'm pretty sure that nine is probably long gone. I don't know. There's a chance he might be around this point here, but. It's highly unlikely at this point. Oh, we had such a perfect setup. Such a perfect setup. How could we blow that? All right, well, we got into about 40 yards out from this bear here, and I see no sign of the giant diamond. I don't know where he went or where he could have even gone. Unless he's over there somewhere. See, there's the female. It's gotta be him. Oh my God, it's him. Oh my God, it's him. Oh, we got so lucky. He's still here. He's still here. Okay, in this case here, guys, we're going prone and we're gonna stay in this thick grass until we get to the end of it. Then we're gonna crouch up and go for the shot. I think this just might work. Not only that, we're gonna have a really good wind as well. Oh, I'm so glad we checked to see where he was at. And it looks like it's gonna work. Here we go, we're going straight to the top. Okay. There's a chance we might be able to take the shot from up here. Oh my God, there he is. He's 50 yards away. No freaking way. We can't see him good enough for a shot though. I mean, we could probably try and call him out. Imagine, imagine if we called him out to right down here. Oh, he's 50 yards away, but I can't see him. I mean, we're not gonna take a shot if I can't see him, I'll tell you that. He's way too big to take that shot. I'll pull back and show you what we're looking at. Absolutely not, absolutely not. <laughs> Well, we have the bear collar, and we just might give that a try. Oh my god, oh my- Wait, 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 it's not him. It's the female coming in. I'm sure the female's right there. The female's right there. 26 yards away. This is unbelievable. Still, not quite a shot. I'll tell you what, if that was him, he'd be absolutely smoked right now. Problem is, we don't want to call. 
because I guarantee it's gonna spook him. We gotta wait till she runs away. And then we could call. You know what? I can actually see him. I know this sounds a little bit ridiculous, but we almost have a shot. If he steps out another one foot, we could silhouette that thing. Where'd he go? Is he coming in? Oh, he is coming in. He's coming in. No way, no way, no way. There he is, right there. He's coming in. He's 40 yards out. Oh my god. I think we just smoked him. That shot was money. Come on, tip over, tip over. It looks like he's going down. He's down! Right there! I can't see... Oh, that was a bit of a risky shot. I think we smoked him. I really do. I'm kind of freaking out right now though. Can't see any blood. Good. Yes! 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 Oh my god, that's a vital hit. Oh, oh, oh. Holy, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this. We got him! It's a vital hit! Oh my god. We just took him down with a bow and arrow at 44 yards and here he is laying right out in the middle of this lake let's get out here and go take a look I'm just I'm absolutely shocked right now oh he's a cool color too looks like the red brown color let's pick him up yes it's a diamond oh my god it's a diamond 28.19 diamond 9 legendary red brown brown bear So, it appears that right when we took that shot, that bear stood up and we got him in the liver at 46 yards. Wow. He tried to duck, he tried to jump up and dodge the shot. But we still connected on a liver shot. <laughs> Unbelievable moment right there. Wow. I can't believe it. We finally got ourselves a giant diamond brown bear. 28.19 diamond. And it weighed 1,004 pounds. I mean, the diamond that we took down a couple days ago, that diamond whitetail, that was one of the coolest diamond hunts that we've had and uh, the uniqueness of the way that we actually were able to take the shot and get him. We almost had to do the exact same thing on this one and I feel like it might have even been a better outcome if, for instance, we took a shot on that female. But then again, this bear was a little bit too close and we didn't want to risk him spooking. So we decided to call just a little bit. We had him stopped out there at 45 yards and we held right for the center of the shoulder, which would have been right here. But because he stood up, he actually turned and twisted. And we got him right in the liver. And that's still a great shot. And that is going to be one heck of an incredible way to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. It all paid off in the end.
I, I still can't believe that this happened. I'm still just absolutely stunned and shock and awe that this happened. I, wow. What a special, special diamond. <laughs>